Hi, I'm Patty. Welcome to WUFT and Cade Museum Summer Camp. How many of you use batteries? We need them for a lot of things, from the garage door opener to the remote control on the TV to Bluetooth, all sorts of stored power systems. In 1800, there was a scientist in Cuomo, Italy. His name was Alessandro Volta, who we get the word volt from, by the way, when we talk about electrical things. Alessandro Volta was trying to create a stored power system. It was about 1800. But did you know that almost 50 years earlier, one of our founding fathers in America, Benjamin Franklin, was already working on a stored battery power system, and he used the term battery. Today, we're gonna do an activity that requires adult supervision. You're gonna be using a nine volt battery. Never ever take a battery apart, remove the casing, or put in your mouth. Very important. With this, we're going to use a nine volt battery, some LED lights, some Play-Doh we have laying around the lab, and two alligator clip cables. Now, why are we using Play-Doh? Well, it has a lot of salt in it, it has moisture, and it is conductive. That means the electrons can easily flow through it. So I'm gonna make two pieces of Play-Doh. I'm taking a long one like this, and I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna put it down like that. Now, my battery has a negative and a positive end. I'm going to use the red one on the positive end because I want you to keep track of positive and negative. My black clip will go on the negative end. Make sure they don't touch each other at the terminals because they will short. Now, I'm going to stick one of my clips into each side of the Play-Doh, you know, so if you can see. Now, I'm gonna take one of my LED lights and if you look very closely at an LED, you're gonna notice one tine is just a little bit longer than the other tine. That's because the longer tine is positive, the shorter tine is negative. That means we wanna pair them up, match them. Positive, negative. So this one's longer, and I'm gonna stick it in the positive side. This one's shorter, I'm gonna put that in the negative side. Check that out. Pretty cool. I wonder how many LED lights my nine volt battery will support with electrons that are flowing through the Play-Doh. Because remember, Play-Doh has moisture and salt in it and that helps things be conductive. So I wonder, do you think I could put in 20, 30? Could I put in maybe four more? I don't know. have done this project.